Let's take a look at your quilting options. Let's connect to Qbot. And then we can go into quilting options. Here we have all of the settings within quilting options. Starting on the left, you have the modify page render delay. That's the refresh time when you're in the modify screen. You have a checkbox for using or not using notification sounds. That's the ding dong at the end of the pattern when it's finished quilting and the click sounds when you're selecting points. You have voice recognition. Turning that on will allow the QBot to understand the voice command OK when you are selecting points. We have an upgrade firmware button which you should not press unless there is a new firmware for the QBot head. We have the crosshatch pattern defaults that's the spacing and the direction in intersection angles. Here mine are 380, 0.380, 0, and 90. We have the applique echo defaults that are the applique width, the length, and the angle. Tie-off stitches, whether you have them off or on. And then the length underneath it. We have a calibration setting right here which uh, is for if you're using heavy duty or super duty drive wires. And we have the laser offset calibration, which is right here. And there's a routine that you run if you have the offset laser pointer that gives the distance or it calculates the distance from the laser dot to where the needle goes through. And then once that is calibrated, you can use that when you're selecting points.